I'm Dr. Stephen Finkel from Stanford School of Regional Anesthesia. In this video, we're going to go over how we do our saphenous nerve blocks at the Stanford Hospital. Uh, the saphenous nerve block is one that we'll often use in conjunction with a popliteal nerve block, particularly if we're interested in ensuring that we have excellent analgesia and anesthesia into the foot. The distribution of the saphenous nerve in terms of the dermatomal coverage that you get is really medial aspect of the knee straight down into the medial aspect of the foot. So if you're going to be doing any form of ankle surgery or fractures into the foot, uh, it's an excellent block to use, as I mentioned, in, in conjunction with popliteal. Oftentimes, um, we will do it even if the, sur the surgical incision is not precisely on the medial aspect of the foot because, quite frankly, there's often uh, dermatomal overlap and manipulation of the foot a, 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 as a whole. Um, we find that the analgesic effects are much better when both blocks are used for the foot. Okay, to do a saphenous nerve block, we have our patient in supine position. And what I'm going to do is take the ultrasound probe and basically place it about mid-thigh. And when we do that at the moment, we don't see much other than skin, fat, muscle, that kind of thing. What I'm looking for is, uh, once again, uh, femoral vessels. And I'm going to scan medially until I can find them. Now, it's important to also know, so this is lateral and this is heading toward medial. And as I'm scanning, I have now found my femoral vessels. As I turn my probe, these come into better view. We can confirm that with color, flow, which we see here. So we now have found our femoral artery and vein. Okay, that's a very useful landmark for this block because we know that the saphenous nerve sits just adjacent to these vessels, uh, uh, just lateral to them. So we're going to be looking in this area. One thing to keep in mind is that this nerve is often difficult to see. It's quite small. And so how do we know where exactly to block? What I'm going to do is I'm going to scan caudad until the femoral artery dives away and disappears, which it looks like it kind of just did on me. Let's see if we can. So once that happens, I then scan upward until I get it back, which I now have. I'm just manipulating the probe gently so that I can show you the best possible view of the femoral artery and vein. Having done that, this is the site where I usually do my block. I take note of the muscle groups, the sartorius, the vastus, and adductor groups just medially. Your target is going to be sitting just lateral to the femoral artery and vein, just underneath the fascial plane, right underneath sartorius muscle. I would come in with my needle and I would do a very small injection right here. Note that this is not a motor component nerve, so using a nerve stimulator, you may invoke a paresthesia in the patient in the proper dermatomal coverage into the medial aspect of leg and ankle, but you're not going to see um, muscle twitch. Because it is such a small nerve, we do not need to use a lot of local anesthetic. We'll use no more than 10 cc's of local, and I would deposit it right in this area right here. The things that you have to be concerned about in this block are, once again, you are near vessels. It's obviously important before doing an injection. You aspirate um, and ensure that you're not intravascular. Once you've confirmed that, you see your needle position right here and fixed. In fact, that may be the nerve. I would ensure that the local anesthetic is invested around the nerve underneath this fascial plane. Having done that, your block is now complete. This is a block that we only do as kind of a, uh, 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 an accessory block. We do not put catheters in here. Uh, once your 10 cc's of local is injected, you are done. Okay, so this is a live example of a saphenous nerve block. In this case, clearly you can see the femoral artery. I'm playing around with the probe just to get the best view that we can. And we'll also demonstrate how the artery dives as you move in a caudad fashion, uh, which you can see happening right here. Once that's happened, once again, we're going to pull back up cephalad till we get good, uh, clean view of the artery. And we'll move that off to the 
lateral aspect of the screen to the left, you're going to see the needle start to come lateral to medial from right to left across your screen. In this instance, this would be blocking a left leg. The target, as we talked about, is underneath the fascial plane, which sits just below sartorius muscle, which you can visualize there. We're going to go kind of for a corner pocket view. The saphenous nerve is visualized there just lateral to the femoral artery, and you can see us beginning the injectate now in that space. Once again, about 10 cc's of local anesthetic should be sufficient to get an excellent saphenous nerve block, which you can use in conjunction with a popliteal sciatic block to provide total analgesia into the foot. The needle slightly redirected just to make sure we're getting good coverage here, but um, the principles are all the same. We want to avoid intravascular injection and ensure good local spread underneath the fascial plane.